I work with hundreds of kids on their mental game and can definitively tell you that something as simple as a choke or mistake can have a major negative impact on your athletes. In fact, many adults end up needing help to clear their negative beliefs that got formed while playing sports in their youth. Mental blocks can get implanted in our minds from seemingly routine occurrences during play, like a teammate talking trash or gossiping, a coach yelling at you, a parent showing disappointment, getting cut from or not making a team, sitting the bench, getting frozen out of play by teammates, maybe a shouted comment by someone in the stands, and many times from a minor injury. Now here's a typical scenario we hear often at the Mental Toughness Academy. 15-year-old basketball player Joe was a real success throughout junior high and much of his high school years. He played with a reckless abandon and went all out every minute of the game. His parents loved watching him play because they could see how he was really enjoying himself. Other parents often commented on how fearless Joe was and his coach loved his hustle and his heart. Last season, though, it ended on an unexpected note when he missed what would have been the game-winning shot during the playoffs. Since then, he's been a different kid and eventually ended up sitting on the bench most of the time as a backup in the next season. His coach didn't know what to do besides tell him what had worked in the past, train longer, show more aggressiveness. Joe's parents even sent him to basketball camp to see if that would help reignite the fire he had lost, and it didn't. Joe and his parents were at a loss as to what to do. Now this type of thing happens every day in youth sports. What parents and coaches vastly underestimate is how vulnerable teens and preteens minds are to such drama and trauma from sports. Joe had taken that one game very hard and he internalized it into a destructive force that continued to live in his body like a virus wreaks havoc on a computer. Now, plenty of kids seem to come out of their teen years and do just fine in the world on the surface. But teens, they're like icebergs. Only 10% shows above the water. Very few parents are able to get past the surface talk they have with their kids to find out what's really going on inside. And even if their kid does open up, they still don't believe their parents can help them solve it. You know, on the surface, the young athlete seems to take it in stride and, and they keep on going. And yes, yeah, sometimes they do that very well. On the other hand, far too often the thoughts they form from these difficulties become permanent limiting beliefs. Like I'm not good enough. Like I always screw up under pressure. Like I always don't do well on the road. I get too nervous to perform. So what can we as parents do about it? How can we stop these beliefs from becoming part of their permanent programming? The good news is that all of this is totally preventable and mental toughness training is the answer. In our training, we start with helping athletes understand how their mind works. We empower them to take hold of the controls they have and use them to turn around negative thinking. Then we give them some quick, simple tools to stay focused on their well-planned goals. The tools help them with visualization, dealing with fears, staying motivated, and creating their own confidence, to, give, to name a few. Give Mental Toughness Academy's life-changing secrets to your team. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Single, the Mental Toughness Trainer.